Warning. Viewers may find the following scenes of Roman Kemp losing his mind over Harry Styles disturbing or totally relatable. Being a presenter at Capital Breakfast, I mean, it's amazing. Like, to be honest, it's the dream job. Although we have to get up early every single morning, it has its perks. You know, we're just the best of friends. Ah, in the build-up to the summertime ball, honestly, the vibe, the atmosphere is incredible. It's electric, we're getting all the, the biggest stars coming in, all the musicians, the DJs, the producers. And they've all got their own fans, and we try and give them the best interview as possible, but we don't put really anyone on a pedestal. I've never had any favourites, so to be honest, I quite like to treat everyone just how, you know, I want to be treated. No favourites, no. It is hard, you know, when you get someone come in and you know that they're, you know, they're, they're great. But you just have to play it cool. You can't treat someone like they're God because no one's God other than God. Uh, when I heard Harry was playing, I was, yeah, fine. I mean, it's, yeah, I guess, I guess it's good for the office. Until you announce it on air, you've got to keep these things locked. There's only certain people that they'll let those secrets out to and I'm, I'm just lucky to be one of them. Roman, you did not keep your cool. It's capital. You know, we love our artists. I'm, I'm going to be excited about it. Of course I am. I think I kept it pretty low key. You know, you've got to do that sometimes. That's the job. It's capital breakfast with Roman Kemp. It 100% affected his job. OK, Ro, H has arrived. Sorry, what? He's here. Uh, what? H is here. H? Yeah. H. He's using his initials again. Uh, no, I think that's Hang on, where, his, so uh... where, where did he come down from? Why didn't you tell me? I didn't, you know, I wasn't unprofessional about it. Okay, all right. Well, come on, I'm getting ready. What's going on? Oh, not now, pal. Yeah. Not what? now. H, well, sit down, because H is coming in. Letter H for Harry. A-I-T-C-H for the rapper. Your H. All right, then, what are you flogging this time? Literally, you could only ever make that mistake if you were 100% thinking of Harry Styles all the time. Well, I've got to do something with this. Um, One Direction. I don't Favourite member I don't of One know. Direction. I don't know. Zane. Wrong! H and H. Anyone could make that mistake. The excitement is building and building and building to the point where you could almost burst and then it happens. Capital summertime, ball win Barkley. Roman is a great host and you know he, he's so professional and, and uh, I learned a lot. I watched him closely and you know I really picked up a few uh, pointers of what I should do myself. We've all got a job to do, but Roman just takes it upon himself to do a little bit more. I went out my way that day to make sure that even the security team were up to scratch. You know, a lot of people actually have issues with Harry. What I'm going to do is we're just going to do some role play because these are some of the characters that we might see coming today. Oh my God! Whoa, oh, oh. Where's that Harry Styles? Where's that Harry Styles? Where's that fool? What, what, what? You don't get it. He's stealing my move. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Where's that fool Harry Styles? It's not rock and roll, is it? It's not rock and roll. <laughs> so we did a really nice interview. And it had gone really well and we we're really pleased and normally we have a bit of a debrief afterwards and talk about it. And then all of a sudden Roman goes weird again, puts on a bucket hat and glasses and then just walks off. At the end of the day, you've got so many people, it's 80,000 people excited to see Harry Styles and I was about to make that 80,000 and one. Look, as I say, I love my job, and, and there's, there's two parts to me, you know, it's, I'm not just Roman Kemp megastar host, I'm also Roman Kemp fan.
you know, and I like to get amongst it and be able to connect with the fans. Who wants an interview? Okay, but save my spot though. That's my spot. That's my spot. Who are you excited to see? Harry Styles. Yeah, me too. Join the queue. If he's not, you know, disguising himself as a, as a fan in the stadium with his bucket hat on, he's now trying to patrol backstage, you know, trying to make it perfect for Harry. What about Mimi Webb? No, I don't, I don't want to talk about Mimi Webb. Oh, um, what were we doing? Vocal warm ups. Well, because the thing is, is that look, I, I love, I love hit music. I love all of that. You know, I love Mimi. She's fantastic. But Harry Styles is coming later on today. Um, I'm trying to just create the most zen thing possible. Right? But sometimes that, you know, hit music, it can be ah. But I just wanted it there. What were you doing then? What was it? Was just a <laughs> yeah. Okay. So instead of we go like this. Ah, uh, you're flat. Good. Okay. Hold that. <clears throat> so then Jax Jones brings his massive party to the UK's biggest summer party, and Roman is literally there stopping Jax Jones bringing his massive party to the UK's biggest summer party. Whoa, 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 whoa
It made sense at the time. One more of them, there it is, right there. Thank you very much, Kiwi, there it is. We decided to stop filming the documentary then. We'd done all our interviews and, and we could just sit back and enjoy Harry set. Please welcome to the Summertime Ball stage. Nowadays, I just limit myself to a couple of minutes of Harry Social every now and again. Sometimes, a little bit too far. I'm good. I'm, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm good. Honestly, I'm fine. Morning, you're right. Morning. Yeah, nice. Nothing. Fine. Fair. Uh, good. Uh, uh, yeah. See? Good. What? Well, hands it. Oh, what is he liking? 